Yeah. Slow mo. Hey Neo fam, I hope that you are doing well. It's your girl Tia Bella and one of my Shein hauls has finally arrived after waiting for at least three to four weeks. They clearly are on AliExpress time. But anyway, it's finally here and now I'm going to be unboxing everything and showing you what I got. So let's get started with this first thing that I pulled out here and these are those gorgeous little bears. Now I had bought this before. Um, if you have watched any of the previous Shein hauls, you might have remembered the white ones that I got just like this and I said that I was going to go back and get the pink ones and then I was also going to go back and get the black ones. So I have the white ones, these are the pink ones, and the black one will be in the next Shein haul and I absolutely love them because they're very, you know, couture looking. So. so next up we have some glow in the dark stickers. There's an alien, there's some moon, there's some sci-fi themes going on. I purchased these mainly because I wanted to use these for, you know, like a Halloween nail art design. But these came so late so we'll see if we still have time to make some more Halloween nail art. Moving on we have some Roman numerals. Is it Roman or graphic? graphic nail whatever you call it um so there is a gold there's a silver and there's a black in here gorgeous i always wanted to get some of these because i like you know people be putting like little baby or bougie or something onto the nail so now let's move on to this five pack these are also glow in the dark stickers and there are five of them in here quite a variety so we'll start off first with the hearts in various sizes then we have some flames that you, and you know what that could definitely be used for halloween right now so i might quickly do a design with that then we have like some hearts and some triangles and some different shapes and then we have these little twinkles definitely going to use these and then we also have some stars and i was trying to you know do my hand <laughs> like this but couldn't really see it so i don't know why i did that because i have this big light on but anyway all right, so now let's continue moving on. Just trying to find the rest of the nail stuff before we go to that little stationary stuff. So now I don't know why she didn't treat me like this. You know, they said they were going to send me 10 random pieces. Nothing on the photo had any of these little tiny strawberry things. I don't get it. Um, okay, but if you were thinking of getting some kawaii from Shein, you might just get tiny little strawberries in the mix. Moving on, I did get some flat back rhinestones and these are the heart shaped ones. I also got these ones. These are like the oval shape, I guess I would call these or horse eye maybe. Moving straight along, I did get some multicolored teardrop uh, flat back rhinestones. I got these mainly because they had a lot of different colors in this and I wanted some for the Christmas season moving straight along oh my goodness this this the bear this the expensive bear i had to pay three euros for this it comes in gold and it comes in silver and i did go back and get the silver one that's going to be in the next year haul but what i really was fascinated about this bear is that the head move the arms move the legs move you could sit it up you could lay it down it's just a really cute little nail art i've been seeing these on instagram for a while and i really didn't know where to look or how to find it i thought it was actually going to be a little bit bigger but it's not bad at all it really isn't bad at all it's a good good size to it on onto the nail so i definitely think if you want some really bling bling nails you know some that really stands out this this little bear guy right here my new little friend it's definitely going to be worth it these are most one of the most expensive one single charm that i've ever purchased from Shein. all right so moving along we got some little silver uh snowflakes perfect for the upcoming christmas season and next we have some more oh we got some more bears the little cute bears so these bears they come in silver as well as gold 
and there's like a little crystal heart in the center of it so it's like the perfect little thing for valentine's absolutely love these bears you could even use these for christmas too if you wanted to do all i want for christmas is you so those would be really cute and then these little hearts here i don't know why they looked a little bit bigger in the photo on shein but they're absolutely cute these would be perfect for valentine's again they would complement those little bears that i just showed you um or if you just want to have some kind of special message on your nails uh you could do that as well so here are the gold bears similar to the silver one that i just showed you just now and they are exactly the same size cute little bears and they have like the little heart in the center so i will be putting two of these two gold two silver in the uh giveaway um in the giveaway uh box as well and next we have these diamond shaped uh flat backs definitely caught these for the christmas um, I have some of the like regular white ones, but I don't have any of the multicolored ones. So that's why I got those ones. Now, the Aurora trend might be already dead. <laughs> I don't know if it's still trending, but that doesn't mean that you can't be creative with these. So I bought these to match these um, little square, XL square uh, nail tips. And we'll see if they fit. But they look so far, they look like they fit. And I got some more of those flowers. Now, you might remember that I had actually purchased the white ones. And I recently used that in uh, a nail design on Instagram. So I went back and I got the pink ones and the black ones. I think the only other color that they sell is a blue one. I really love these flowers. They're just really elegant. And I definitely think that these would be perfect for like bridesmaids and brides nails and stuff like that. So we do have some teardrop, uh, black fat back, flat back, I was about to say fat back rhinestones, yeah, in the uh, regular iridescent color. And I think that's it in terms of the nail art. Now, we're going to get into this stationary stuff. I bought these because I wanted to show you guys some ideas for uh, nail business. Now, if you are thinking of a press on nail business and you don't want to purchase like those big boxes, this is this is definitely a cheap way that you can do it these are card stock you know they're like really hard and you can actually use these to put your nails on them you just need that double-sided clear tape to stick the tape on and then you can also put your nails onto this now i did these nails a while back and as you can see i have five here so it is very easy for you to be able to fit 10 of them uh, on the rest the other five can go right there in fact if you wanted to really really try to push it you could possibly fit 20 onto this sheet now i i think maybe i would just stick to the 10 and just put it to the center just so that it looks really special and not too jammed up because you might have longer nails and then i also got these clear cellophane um bags now these are actually for like treats that's why they came with these little bow tie things to the top um and you don't necessarily need to use those or you could save it for something else but these there's a, this is a set of 50 and even though this package is like 100 of these in here so you can just go back and get some more if you like if this idea is something that you think you would definitely give a try so i'm going to take one of these out and then i'm going to put it into the little cellophane cellophane bag so that you can see and see it's strong it's really thick there's no creasing you know it's not easily um, flimsy or anything like that so i really do think that it would still hold up in a packaging now as you can see here this possibly fits very close to the actual size it's possibly just a few centimeters left over and what you would do is just kind of tuck that behind the packaging and you could just put a sticker to the back there. You know, those thank you stickers that says, you know, thank you for shopping with my business. Or you could put some cute sticker in the back there as well. It depends on you. So you might be saying, OK, Tia, this look really thin. How am I actually going to fit these nails in here? OK, I got you. I got you. Hold on a second. I'm going to take some of these nail tips and I'm going to shove them in there. Now, it also depends on how tall your nail designs are you know you might have some nail designs that are really tall kawaii charms and stuff like that you might want to test that out and see if it fits in here 
but if you're just doing like simple designs and maybe a few rhinestones it should should be okay so as you can see here it is holding up okay and i think 10 of these long nails 10 or you know 12 maybe could fit could definitely fit inside this package so definitely an idea for you just putting it out there that you can find some inexpensive packaging for your press on business this could also be used for a jewelry business this could also be used for a sticker business charms all sorts of different things you could put into this um, little packaging thing okay and the bows you know they're just leftovers you can use that i'm sure you could find something to do with them all right so now let's move on to um, these stickers now I am a very aesthetic person. I love designing things. I love creating things. Um, I want to have something to give that has my special touch. So I bought these little floral stickers and I'm going to show you how you could actually design these little cards and create like a custom background for your packaging. And as you can see here, I have multiple type of flowers and roses and stems and leaves and you can definitely use any variety of these onto your packaging. Now, if you are the one for more natural, neutral kind of, you know, designing, that you can definitely use these, but you can use any sticker. You may have a variety of stickers that you want to use um, to design this little white tree. See, and as you can see, it's very easy to design it. Okay, so you might be saying, okay, Tia, I'm not really a floral person. That's fine. I have a few ideas. I got some of these like really aesthetic, really kind of Pinterest inspired, really kind of, you know, pink inspired, just really aesthetic stickers. Like they're very boho. They're very laid back. They're very, I don't know, Malibu, California. So that might be your vibe. You might be into like, you know, those little mood boards. That's the word I was trying to look for aesthetic mood boards and that might be the vibe that you want to give you know your nails might be ones that you think deserve to be on pinterest or deserve to be instagram worthy and you could also put these stickers on the background as well or you might not want all six you might just want one one little one in the middle and then maybe take a nice colored pen and kind of just write like a personal message to the corner there to your individual um customers so that's one idea for you. Now I do have some more stickers here as well. So just bear with me, just a few more stickers to show you and then we'll get into the details of the giveaway. Now I love vintage. I like, you know, old stuff as well. So you might say, okay, I want some vintage, vintage kind of things. So we have these little vintage strips and they have like, you know, little cherubs on here. Um, little old flowers and stuff so what you could do is you could just put a slanted one um, onto the side there just like that you could put a, a piece of paper that has writing on it and just make it really aesthetic so or you could even add these to the flowers so you have like one single flower there and then you could add one of these little stickers and just put it right there and make it look a little you know vintage you just my point really with these stickers is that you can be very created, creative. Every product that you send, they don't necessarily have to look the same. And we're, we're in a world where persons are always going to be unboxing and sharing on Instagram and different social media. So you always want to give them something to talk about. And I like that no two package has to be the same, you know? So I got these like coffee stickers. I love love these you can possibly add like a few pearls to these and give it like that bre breakfast at, at tiffany's kind of kind of vibe you can add some washi tape some gold tape to the corners they are absolutely beautiful you could even mix it up too like if you maybe you want to put one of these um you know aesthetic you know mood board kind of photos or and add one coffee and then add one flower mix it up and so the last set of stickers that I have here are these ones that have like cloud backgrounds and like little twinkles in the sky. And I thought these were so cute and so pretty. So you can mix and match these as well. I also bought a ton, like almost 400 stickers from AliExpress. You know, so 
these could definitely mix in with some aliexpress stickers and i'll do a separate video on all of those stickers because it's just a lot of stickers and give you some some more ideas but there's a quite a variety i, I really love aesthetic stuff so that's why i kind of got all of these different things and they are inexpensive you can buy a ton of stickers you know for a euro or two euros possibly like a dollar or two dollars inside u.s currency stick them all over these board and that's basically it so i thought i'd just give you some ideas just to let you know that even though i am buying all of these stuff from shein i'm hoping to you know start something uh new in the new year something a creative kind of you know project into the new year's okay so i have showed you every single thing that i have got from shein i really hope that you have enjoyed everything that i have shown you and now let us move on to the giveaway. Alrighty, the most important thing that you've been waiting on is this giveaway box packed with mostly nail art goodies. There are a few things that I will be adding to this, so those are gonna be surprises. But in general, we're just going to go through everything that I have here. Starting off with this six pack of Mylar Flakes in beautiful, bright colors. And then we have a pack of glitter as well as some foil in gold and silver. We also have some striping tape there. And then we have a pair of tweezers. Tweezers are for you to be able to take these stickers off. So I have quite a bit of stickers here that I got from Shein. Um, that was kind of a abstract one. This one has like twinkles and crescents and stuff these are some gold dragons these are some metallic kind of butterflies these are some animal print butterflies i have some silver holographic butterflies here we have some gold snakes and then we also have a set of those flat back rhinestones in various sizes i have two set of these kind of shimmer powders i don't remember the exact name of what you call them but they are absolutely stunning and you can use those for the upcoming season and then we have two sets of flat back rhinestones both in silver and then iridescent i have a wax pen here so did you be able to pick up all of these and then i also have some nail art brushes now this book right here this is for you to write down all of your amazing ideas that you're gonna get from this giveaway i want you to use this book to the maximum all right and i'm also going to be including some stickers as well so you can decorate that book if you like now don't worry about this tray this is the broken one the other one is the good one and i'm keeping that in the package <clears throat> until i ship that because i don't want to get it scratched or anything so now let's have a closer look so up to the corner here i put in some of those like juicy hearts and then those funny shaped hearts um, i believe those hearts may have been from aliexpress actually i can't remember then we have those funny looking um, shaped uh, rhinestones from AliExpress. And then we have a variety of butterflies. We have some M&Ms and some uh, cinnamon rolls. Then we have some sugar hearts in there. And then we have lots of different kinds of kawaii charms. We got some jelly beans. We got some icing. We got some ice cream and some gummy gumdrops. Then we have those cute little Mickey Mouse uh, charms that we got from AliExpress. We got these hearts in the middle there, and then we have these zodiac names. I have like a magnetic fluffy little thing there. Those cherubs, and I put in a piece of colored um, chain. I put in one of those piercings and some bows in there. And then we have some more hearts and the little white bear. I will put one of the pink bears that we got in uh, the Shein haul today. I'll put one inside there. This is a mix of some dollar signs, some, uh, what else in here? We have some marijuana, we have some bears with the, oh no, those are the bunnies with the hearts in the center. And then we have a mixture of bears here. And then up to the top, we have those cute little Hawaii, kawaii um, animals that we just got from the last Shein haul. I got a mixture of cherry charms and some bow charms in there and also some lips. Then we have some stars and some more charms, butterfly charms inside there. This one has like those long charms. We also have some Egyptian charms in there. Good variety of charms inside this one as well. As you can see, a little pharaoh head. And then over in the corner here, we have some dangle charms. We also have like these big butterflies with like crystal wings. And then um, 
there is a bunny inside here as well, like a little long bunny in there, if you could see it very clearly. So yeah, and some more tangle charms. I think there's two tangle charms in there. All right. So that is everything in this box. Again, don't worry about the tray. This is the broken one. So, okay, so here are the giveaway rules. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram and make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Please write, enter me into the comment section. Please put your city and your country. And lastly, there were three earrings that I intentionally photobombed during the Shein haul. I would like you to write down what were those three earrings. Okay, that's basically it. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and make sure you're subscribed to my channel in the comment section. Please write, enter me, your city and your country. And also, what were the three earrings that I photobombed during the Shein haul? Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.